Okay, uh, welcome back. So this is, uh, again, a video where we're talking about how to hook up this light sensor, this TSL-237, to the, to the STM-32 Nucleo board. Um, in this particular video here, I'm, I'm going to show you how to hook up the scope um, to confirm that the frequency of your light sensor, or that, that you're, you're actually getting that signal into your, um, at least coming out of the chip, um, out of the, the TSL-237, and then... Uh, then later on, we'll measure that going into the uh, STM32. We'll measure its period, and then ultimately from that, we can get its frequency. All right, so I've got my, uh, my other cameras hooked up so you can see my scope here um, that, that shows you, uh, you know, one channel of that. I'll turn off a few things. So, so basically, what a scope is, is a, um, you know, you've got a, vo a probe here that you're going to hook to your circuit, and that circuit's going to allow you to, um, to see voltage um, voltage on this axis right here versus time on this axis. So if we just hook it up to something we know works, there's always, uh, on a scope, there's going to always be some sort of a, a source that we can just hook on to to, to look, um, to see if the probe's working. We use it to compensate the probe. But you can always hook it there and you can see the square wave. Now, if you're, you know, if it's all messed up, you know, it looks like that, you can hit the auto set button up here and it will, the scope will correct itself and, uh, and it'll take you to this point. Um, this, of course, um, this horizontal scale here sets the time. So how much time each one of these divisions here going right to left, how much these divisions, these horizontal divisions are worth. And then this here, this knob here for each channel says how much, um, how many volts each division is worth. So if I want to, you know, lower the, the number of volts per division, my signal is going to get larger, right? And it shows you these are 500 millivolts per division. So I can I could see that if I were just to, to go and try to mechanically go and look at this, it'd be one, two, three, four. That's two volts, three, two and a half volts. So what I'm seeing there is a two and a half volt signal coming out of the scope. All right, so that's that's kind of what's going on. Now, what we're going to be, you know, this is a static source that's just coming out of the scope. We're going to do the same thing, but we're going to hook this to our circuit over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, I'm go to my document camera here. So there's our circuit from last time. Now, I'm going to add a couple of, of wires here that makes it easier for me to hook up to my scope. And so I'm going to add um, a couple of little, uh, one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a ground here. And then I'm going to add a signal that, or just a wire, and this will just make it easier to hook the scope up. You can, you can clip onto the pins if you can get onto them. The grabbers that I've got are not quite that fine. So I'm going to hook the alligator clip here. That's the ground. Remember, voltage, if you remember from your physics, voltage is basically just the relative amount of charge between um, two, two points. And so, so um, um, you know, it, we, when we were trying to make a voltage measurement, you have to always ask the question, in reference to what? And so in our case, it's in reference to this ground um, lead here. So I'll hook this up there. And if we go back, so I'm hooked up. So I've got my scope probe hooked up. And so if I go back over to my, um, you'll see that I've got just the whole sea of, of signal there. Now, if I, if I change my horizontal position here and I start to zoom in, you'll notice that, oh, it's, it's there. And, and, and as I move around, I put my hand over it, you know, it is detecting the light level. This is actually a, a relatively sensitive part. So um, um, one thing that in fact we're gonna we're gonna do to kind of keep that that chip from just at least while we're working with it initially here from saturating is I'm gonna put a piece of tape. So I come back over to my document camera here. I'm gonna put a piece of tape, piece of black tape over that light sensor, like so just to kind of keep it from being too crazy. And uh, I'll come back over to the scope. And so I'll zoom in on this here. Come on, 
So there's my signal. It's about a few hundred hertz. You know, you can still see that, you know, it is still sensitive to the light level in the room, even though, you know, because, you know, the board, this, this breadboard is kind of translucent and there's a lot of leakage. Um, if you, you know, if you've done anything in photonics, um, you know, that keeping light from, you know, light is, uh, is tricky. Light gets in from all different, different ways. And so, um, it, it is a, you know, trying to get a, a source of, um, of darkness is actually re really challenging that physicists who work in that sort of world uh, think about a lot. But in this particular case, um, this is good enough. We just want to keep it from being so many interrupts that we're just doing nothing but entering that interrupt handler. All right, so I'll come over here. This is what it actually looks like. You can see down here at the bottom, you've got this, um, the frequency value where it says frequency. It'll show you this. Um, you can set this up on the scope. The way you do this, if I come back over to my scope, you come over here to measure, and you can add a measurement, and then the source will be channel one. Now, <coughs> there's nothing magical about channel one. You can use the other channels too. I just happen to have this one pro booked up to just to show you, um, what, you know, what to do, you know, how, to, how you might do it with one channel. I'm going here to measurement type. And then you can do all these measurements. I can measure, let's say I wanted to, um, let's see. Get the period here. I'll add that measurement. And so the period of this is 3.2 milliseconds, right? That's our period. And so that, that's one over the frequency. So, um, yeah, so, so that's, that's made as well. Let me just come over here so you can see it a little, you know. So there's our period down here at the bottom. And so again, this is very sensitive to me moving around in the room, moving my hand over it, over it. Okay. <coughs> so that's the that is basically the the, the um, um, hooking up the scope to it. Um, I guess one last thing, you know, I would say, um, you know, if you look at this, you know, this is you know 500 millivolts per vertical division. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. And then, you know, a little more than that. We can actually measure it. So we could ask it to uh, measure. I'm going to add another measurement. And I'll come in here and I'll say the measurement type is um, a high. Yeah, so about 3.3 volts, which is what's coming off of the, the regulator inter internal to the nucleo board. So... Um, if I come over here to my scope, so so that's what we're 3.3 uh, volts um, is is the height of this, and that makes sense given that you know we're powering it off of the 3.3 volt source coming from the nucleo. All right, okay, so um, so for for that's all for hooking it up, looking at the signal. Now we know the signal's going at least coming out of the chip. You know we don't really know. We could um, we could come over here. And we could say, well, let's go and make sure that it's going into the chip. We can move our probe down to here. And it, it's the same, right? So when I come over here to my scope, it is the same. And so um, we, we, are, we, are, we are actually getting yeah, uh, the same value at the, at the sensor itself, or at the, uh, at the pin of the chip itself. All right. Okay. So uh, more, more next time, and we're going to, uh, in the next video, we're going to go ahead and create a base project uh, for the STM32 and go ahead and get this capture um, all set up. All right.